Hello everyone. My name is Noah James Gonzalez. Friends and families call me Nonong Gonzalez. A name given to me by my grandpa which I like and a name which established my identity. I invite you together with my mom Angelia, Grandma Nancy, Tita Gian, and my grandpa Jimmy to come travel with me as I journey around the world to see the beautiful places its people and culture and taste its native delicacies. The city is affectionately nicknamed Old Ricky, Scots for Old Smoky, for the views from the country of the smoke-covered Old Town. A remake and a poem in an 1800 collection of the poems of Alan Ramsey said, Old Ricky, a name the country people give Edinburgh from the cloud of smoke or reek that is always impending over it. Eden, the root of the city's name, derives from Aiden, the name for this region in Cumbria, the Britonic Celtic language formerly spoken there. The name's meaning is unknown. The district of Aiden, centered on the stronghold Dean Aiden, the Dun or Helford of Aiden. The stronghold is believed to have been located at Castle Rock now the site of Edinburgh Castle. Aiden was conquered by the Angles of Bernicia in the 7th century and later by the Scots in the 10th century. As the language shifted to Old English and subsequently to Modern English in Scots, the Bretonic Dean in Dean Aiden was replaced by Burr, producing Edinburgh. Similarly, Dean became Dan in Scottish Gaelic, producing Dan Aidian. Edinburgh has been the birthplace of actors like Alistair Sim and Sir Sean Connery, famed as the first cinematic James Bond. The comedian and actor Ronnie Corbett, best known as the one of the two Ronnies, and the impressionist Rory Bremer, famous artists from the city include the portrait painter Sir Henry Rayborn, Sir David Wilkie, and Alan Alan Ramsey. The city has produced or been home to some very successful musicians in recent decades, particularly Ian Understone, frontman of the band Jetro Tal, the Incredible String Band, the Folk Do'o, the Chorus, Wati Buchan, lead singer and founding member of punk band The Exploited, Shirley Manson, lead singer of the band Garbage, the Bay City Rollers, the Proclaimers, Board of Canada, and Idol Wild. Edinburgh is the birthplace of former British minister Tony Blair, who attended the city's Fittis College. 
Notorious criminals from Edinburgh's past include Deacon Brody, head of a trails guild in Edinburgh City Council or by day, but a burglar by night, who is said to have been the inspiration for Robert Louis Stevenson's story, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and murderers Bork and Hare who delivered first corpses for dissection to the famous anatomist Robert Knox. Another well-known Edinburgh residence was Greyfriars Bobby, the small Sky Terrier he refutedly keep vigil over his dead master's grave in Greyfriars' graveyard for 14 years in the 1860s and 1870s, giving rise to a story of canine devotion which plays a part attracting visitors to the city. Edinburgh has a long literary tradition, which became especially evident during the Scottish Enlightenment. This heritage in the city's lively litera literary life in the present led it being declared as the first UNESCO city of literature in 2004. Prominent authors who have lived in Edinburgh include the economist Adam Smith, born in Kirkcaldy, and author of The Wealth of Nations, James Boswell, biographer of Samuel Johnson, Sir Walter Scott, creator of the historical novel and authors of works such as Rob Roy, Ivanhoe, and Heart of Midlothian, James Hogg, author of the private memoirs and confessions of a justified sinner, Robert Louis Stevenson, creator of Treasure Island, Kidnap, and the Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Sir Arthur Donan Doyle, the creator of Sherlock Holmes, Muriel Spark, author of The Prime of Miss Jean Brody, Irvine Wells, author of Train Spotting, whose novels are mostly set in the city and often written in colloquial Scots, Ian Rankin, author of the Inspector Rebus series of crime thrillers, Alexander McCall Smith, author of the number one latest detective agency series, and J.K. Rowling, creator of Harry Potter, who began her first book in an Edinburgh coffee shop and who lives in the Cremon area of the city. The historic center of Edinburgh is divided in two by the broad green swath of Princess Street Gardens. To the south, the view is dominated by Edinburgh Castle, built high on Castle Rock, and the long sweep of the old town descending towards Holly Road Palace. To the north lies Princess Street and the new town. The West End includes the financial district with insurance and banking offices as well as the Edinburgh International Conference. Edinburgh's old and new towns were listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1995 in recognition of the unique character of the old town with its medieval street layout in the planned Georgia New Town including the adjoining Dean College and Carlton Hill areas. There are over 4,500 listed buildings within the city, a higher proportion relative to an area than any other city in the United Kingdom. <laughs> A 
as I post here, I hope you enjoy our ride. Don't forget to watch my next episode and please hit the red subscribe button below for it means so much for me. Until next time, thank you so much.